Hello everybody, Gage here from Sharp. Excited to have you with me for another knife related video. In today's episode, we're talking all about my favorite blacksmith, Yu Kurosaki. Kurosaki-san dropped out of high school at the age of 16 to get a job in a car factory. He quickly learned that this was not his passion in life and embarked on a 12 year apprenticeship under Hiroshi Kato out of the Takefu Knife Village. You might be familiar with the Kato name as we carry a number of knives from uh, Hiroshi's son, Yoshimi, who is another one of our favorite blacksmiths here at the shop. Again, after 12 years of apprenticeship, Yu Kurosaki-san opened his own shop in the year 2014, directly adjacent to the Takefu Knife Village. It's literally a stone's throw away from the Takefu Knife Village Visitor Center and Workshop. Uh, the back door of Kurosaki-san's shop uh, leads directly into the parking lot of the Takefu Knife Village, which is pretty cool. Only five short years later, Kurosaki-san was the youngest ever blacksmith to be awarded the master's designation by the Etchison Blacksmith Foundation. He was only 40 years old at the time, which may seem young to some of you out there, but for the most part, master's designations are things that take uh, decades of hard work and dedication to one's craft. So achieving this at the age of 40 years old is quite the accomplishment. We believe that Yu Kurosaki's work represents the future of Japanese knife making as he is unafraid to use progressive designs and work with more modern steels while still using more traditional techniques to forge his blades. Kurosaki-san's work is world renowned for his elegant and unique tsushimi patterns which differ from line to line and are normally the distinguishing factor between lines of knives that he produces. First we'll talk about the Fujin line. Fujin is the god of wind in Japanese mythology and the tsuchimi or hand hammered pattern on these lines of knives is meant to emulate sort of like a wind stroke. The Fujin line can be found in three different steel types, two of which are stainless steels, those being R2 and VG10. Also found in carbon steel uh, made from Algami Super or Blue Super Carbon Steel. The next lineup we'll talk about is the Senko line, which translates to Sparkle. Yu Kurosaki uses a really cool star-shaped hammerhead to produce this lineup of knives, and these knives certainly are very sparkly. The Senko line is the only offering from Yu Kurosaki that is roll-forged and stamped rather than hand-forged. This allows Yu Kurosaki to offer his exceptional knives at a more affordable price. They are still all sharpened and polished by hand and still inhibit many of the qualities of Yu Kurosaki's work that makes his knives so special, namely the thinness at the spine and the thinness behind the edge, which gives them an incredible, incredible cutting feel. Made from R2 stainless steel, they have a fantastic heat treat and therefore very good edge retention as well. Moving on, we'll talk about the Rai Jin line. Rai Jin being the god of thunder in Japanese mythology, the Tsushimi pattern on this lineup is meant to emulate uh, lightning strokes, strokes, strikes in the night sky. The Rai Jin line is made from Cobalt Special, which is a stainless steel very similar to R2. Very similar heat treat and Rockwell hardness, which therefore gives it an excellent, excellent edge retention and in our experience, relatively easy sharpening as well because of how thin the knives are behind the edge. Last but certainly not least is the Shizuku lineup. Shizuku translates to water drip or drop and the Tsushimi pattern on these blades is meant to sort of emulate little water drips or drops on the blade of the knife. These knives can be found in two steel types, the stainless version being made from R2 and the carbon steel version made from Algami Super with a stainless cladding. Next we're going to talk about some general characteristics of Yu Kurosaki's knives. One of the things that makes his knives so appealing to me is how thin they are both at the spine and behind the edge, which of course also contributes to a quite light knife. This thinness at the spine and edge also creates an exceptional cutting feel, uh, one of the best cutting feels of any knives that I've ever used. And of course, using such high quality steels, you'll find that his knives stay sharp for a very, very long time. And again, because of how thin they are behind the edge, you'll find that they sharpen up very, very easily as well. Because of this thinness behind the edge, it's important to note that Yu Kurosaki-san's knives are quite delicate. And if you are a little bit heavy handed, we might not recommend these knives for you as they can be prone to chipping and other damage. Very similar to other Japanese knives, you'll find that his knives balance further forward in the blade, about an inch or two away from where the tang and handle come together. This, in my opinion, creates a really comfortable feeling knife and one that feels like it's pulling itself 
through the ingredient without you having to apply much pressure at all. Kurosaki-san is very focused on his attention to detail and his fit and finish again is top notch where his handles and tangs come together. There are never any gaps or spaces there. So no food or water is going to get in there and cause the handle to fall off over uh, the years that you have the knife. Another thing that makes Kurosaki-san uh, such a special blacksmith and, and such a talent is uh, again, his attention to detail with regards to the beveling on his knives. You always get a very consistent and very thin bevel on his knife that comes up a, a good deal up into the blade, which again is going to contribute to that uh, really, really effortless cutting feel. Yu Kurosaki makes his knives in small batches, which allows him to focus on that attention to detail, making sure every knife is perfect. It's for this reason, though, that we have a difficult time keeping his knives in stock. Most notably his Fujin Algami Super line, which is my favorite lineup of knives of all time, uh, is extremely difficult for us to keep in stock and they'll typically sell out uh, in days or within the week of us receiving the order. We typically have all of his lineups available, but typically we'll only have a few shapes from each lineup available at one time. So to summarize, Yu Kurosaki makes easily some of the most beautiful knives that I've ever seen or used. It's been an absolute pleasure to own some of his beautiful knives, and I'm sure you will get as much pleasure out of owning one of his knives as I have. If there's anything that we didn't touch on in this video that you were hoping to learn, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more knife-related content. Until the next video, stay sharp.